Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, today we have come to this altar of love, a place where we encounter a God of new beginnings, a God full of love and compassion, gripped by this very love. As we come to this altar, we should come not with empty hearts, empty heads and empty hands, but rather with hearts full of love, heads full of faith and hands full of prayers. So shall we close our eyes and surrender our whole selves, our everything to a God who understands us as we are. Our prayers and petitions, our griefs and sorrows, our pains, our dreams and hopes and our sins and failures. Let us examine our conscience. Let us be sincerely be sorrowful for the times we failed to love God in return. For the times we failed to love one another in expression of God's love for us. Together we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore ask the Virgin Mary, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Jesus, I've forgotten the words that you have spoken. Promises have turned to me, my heart is now from thee. With a doubting heart I follow the path to earthly wisdom. Forgive me for my unbelief and near the fire for
Chapter 8, verses 27 to 30. Now, he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven of my soul, I give you control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made a choice to listen to your voice. Wherever you may lead, I will go. Or by a gentle tree The shepherd of my soul Is by my side Should I face the mighty mountain Or really go to me The shepherd of my soul Would be my God And they stand up for the gospel. Though the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. Great compassion. 
Pharisees and scribes complained, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say to you that likewise there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine just persons who need no repentance. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Amen. Almighty, Creator Amen. of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My dear friends, as we come to this altar, we need to have our hands and hearts full of prayers. We need to have something to offer from our life to this altar and gain something from this altar to our lives. And thus, the celebration of this Mass becomes life-binding and meaningful to our lives. Shall we close our eyes? holding our hands in the silence of our hearts, we submit all our prayers and petitions to our God who loves us, who cares us, who is always there. Oh 
god a god of new beginnings help us to make a new beginning in life o god from whom all good things come purify our thoughts words and our actions enable us to discern what is good and to say always yes to your divine promptings and to say no to all that is evil we make this prayer through Christ our lord amen and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church accept o lord we pray the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts that through the powerful working of your grace these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord Amen the Lord be with you and with your Lift up your heart and we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word to whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim Holy 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 Heaven and earth are full of your 
we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O Lord until As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him o oh god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen 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 Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to you your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other a sincere sign of peace peace be with you
that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be you bring us to new life. We may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.